The following demonstrates the installation for an artificial grass roll. The same installation principles apply to different sized grass rolls. For more information, please refer to the installation guide. Please note, the following tools and materials will be required for the installation. Geotextile fabric, compactable base material, vibrating plate compactor and or hand tan, rake, mallet or piece of wood, temporary nails, utility knife, hose, U-nails, seaming tape and adhesive, shag carpet rake or broom with synthetic bristles, infill, drop spreader, measuring tape. Please note the following steps to prepare your installation area. Additions or changes to the drainage, irrigation, electrical or water systems, or to gas lines should be made prior to starting the installation. All landscaping elements, including gardens, lighting, pools and ponds, should be in place prior to starting the installation. Remove all organic material, including grass, weeds and roots. Apply a geotextile to keep native soil from coming into contact with the base material. The geotextile fabric should cover the entire installation area. Secure the geotextile fabric to the native soil using stainless steel or galvanized nails. It is critical that there be no wrinkles in the geotextile fabric. Add a minimum of 75 millimeters or 3 inches of compactable base material. Spread the base material using a rake over the installation area. Lightly water the ground and compact the ground using a vibrating plate compactor or hand tamp. Ensure that there are no ridges in the base material. Use either a mallet, a piece of wood, or a hand tamp to level the edges, to set a precise level and ensure a clean edge. Now, you are ready to measure your area. Measure the installation space and plan the placement of each roll. When installing artificial grass in a front yard, the grain should generally point toward the street. Consider the direction the grass should run to optimize color. It is critical the blades run in the same direction in your installation. Now, you are ready to install your artificial grass. Use a straight edge or two perpendicular edges for alignment. Square off the artificial grass along your chosen location to minimize cutting and fitting on all four sides. Once square, secure the edges with temporary nails to hold it into place while cutting the opposite sides. Install U-nails to stabilize the artificial grass. Begin by seaming rolls together towards the middle of the lawn before securing the outer perimeter. Install one U-nail at least every 400 millimeters, or 15.7 inches, to prevent the movement of the artificial grass. Avoid pulling the blades down along with the nails. The nails are hidden within the grass blade at the base of the mat. Seaming tape and adhesive for artificial grass can be used to join two rolls of artificial grass. Follow the manufacturer's instructions when using these products. Ensure that seaming or joint tape is applied before the U-nails. Cut the artificial grass to fit your area, allowing at least 4 mm or 1 8 inches excess for tucking in at the end of the installation. Insert U-nails every 400 mm or 15.7 inches. Use a shag carpet rake or a broom with synthetic bristles to manually bloom the blades of grass so that they stand upright. Apply infill to provide weight to the installation. Use a drop spreader to allow for an even distribution of infill across the surface. 
Follow the manufacturer's instructions when using infill products. Use a broom to spread infill and bloom grass blades. Now, your installation is complete. Please refer to the installation guide for tips on care and maintenance.